five cents, a license fed us a happy pet, and now today's here little business. Thank you, Lulu. Now let's consider new business. <laughs> On behalf of most of the senior class of Beaumont High School, I move that Local Ordinance 416, the law against public dancing within the town limits of Beaumont, be abolished. <laughs> and I, Wheeler Hewitt, of 3 to 5 Cloverdale Lane, would like to second that motion. <laughs> Ella, may I have floor, please? Certainly, Reverend. Red. You wish to change our law because you want to throw a dance. That is your right, but it is my duty to challenge any enterprise which, in my experience, fosters the use of drugs, the abuse of alcohol, and more importantly, celebrates spiritual corruption. And I think that you're going to find that most folks in this community agree with me. You got that right. Now, if anyone can convince me that there is no danger in your raucous party plans, I might reconsider my stand. But for now, no, I can't condone it. I believe that a vote has been ordered. Wait, wait, isn't there any kind of discussion? Yes! yes! It's outrageous if you think that. Roger! Roger, sit down. I believe that Mr. McCormick has the right to be heard. I just wanted to say a few words about this because, you know, I feel like this idea scares a lot of people, but it really shouldn't. Since the beginning of time, people danced for many reasons. They danced so that their crops would be plentiful or so that their hunt would be good. They danced to show community spirit and they danced to celebrate. And that's the kind of dancing we're talking about here. Mr. McCormick, we don't need a history lesson. All right. Well. What about in the Bible, Reverend? Aren't we told in Psalms 149 to praise ye the Lord, sing unto the Lord a new song, and praise his name in the dance? And then there was King David, who we read about in the book of Samuel, and he... Ah, David, David danced before the Lord with all his might, leaping and dancing before the Lord, leaping and dancing. And Ecclesiastes assures us that there's a time to every purpose under heaven. There's a time to laugh, a time to weep, a time to mourn, and there is a time to dance. There was a time for this law, but not anymore. You see, this is our time. This is our time to celebrate life. That's the way it was in the beginning. It's the way it always has been, and that's the way it should be now. Thank you.